हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर सतीश कुमार काशी प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर प्रेजेंटिंग अ टॉपिक वाटर रिसोर्सेस ऑफ इंडिया लर्निंग आउटकम्स ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब वाटर रिसोर्सेस ऑफ इंडिया दे विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब इरीगेशन डेवलपमेंट इन इंडिया कवरेज रेनफॉल पैटर्न्स इन इंडिया वाटर रिसोर्सेस ऑफ इंडिया एट अ क्लांस एंड इरीगेशन डेवलपमेंट इन इंडिया ना दिस इज अ मैप विच शोज जियोग्राफी ऑफ इंडिया सो दीज आर द हिमालयास दीज आर द नॉर्थ इंडियन प्लेन्स दिस इज अ डेक्कन प्लेट्यू दीज आर द वेस्टर्न घाट्स दीज आर द ईस्टर्न घाट्स according to geography the rivers flow and they have defined their own channels now this map gives us idea about the major rivers so this is a ganga basin brahmaputra enters here in arunachal pradesh here this is a narmada river here this is tapi river गोदावरी ओरिजिनेटिंग फ्रॉम नाशिक त्र्यंबकेश्वर भीमा ओरिजिनेटिंग फ्रॉम भीमाशंकर कृष्णा ओरिजिनेटिंग फ्रॉम महाबलेश्वर दिस इज तुंगभद्रा रिवर दिस इज कावेरी रिवर एंड सो ऑन दीज आर द रिवर बेसिन्स ऑफ इंडिया दिस इज गंगा बेसिन दिस इज नर्मदा बेसिन दिस इज तापी बेसिन गोदावरी बेसिन कृष्णा बेसिन पेन्नार बेसिन कावेरी बेसिन एंड वेगरी बेसिन this is the annual rainfall pattern over india so we observe that heavy rainfall takes place in konkan region heavy rainfall also takes place in say eastern states of india whereas very low rainfall takes place in say rajasthan low rainfall also takes place in some parts of gujarat some parts of maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu and so on. we find the variation of annual rainfall over india right from say 20 cm even up to say 1000 cm so uh, this automatically keeps the distribution of water resources also uneven all over the country this is another figure which shows monsoon rainfall over india and the dark color show the greater rainfall the faint color show the lesser rainfall so we find the konkan region and eastern states having higher rainfall the major water resources are contained in our north indian rivers so these rivers are say ganga yamuna ghagra gandak koshi tista and also tremendous flow of water is observed in brahmaputra which enters here in eastern part of india so this is a quantification of land and water resources of india which we should know the geographical area of our country is 328.7 million hectares population according to 2011 census is 1 to 10.19 million rainfall variation is there right from 100 mm in the western india to even 11000 mm in eastern most region there are 12 number of major river basins 12 number having total catchment area of 253 million hectares medium sized river basins having catchment area between 2000 and 20000 square kilometers are 46 in number and total navigable length of important rivers is 14464 kilometers average annual rainfall over india is 1190 mm which is also equal to 4000 billion cubic meter in volume units typically annual rainfall of 2018 was 1074 mm mean annual natural runoff is 1869 billion cubic meter total utilizable water 
is 1,123 billion cubic meter. Estimated utilizable surface water potential out of this is 690 billion cubic meter. And total replenishable groundwater resources in typically in 2013 were observed to be 432 billion cubic meter. Ultimate irrigation potential of India is 139 million hectares and out of that 76 million hectare we can have from surface water and 64 million hectares we can have from the groundwater. Storage available due to completed major and medium projects including live capacity less than 10 million cubic meter is 253 billion cubic meter and estimated additional likely live storage available due to projects under construction in due course of time is 155 billion cubic meter. Total cultivable land of India is 182.2 million hectares. Out of that gross zone area is 198.4 million hectares. Net zone area is 140.1 million hectares. Let us discuss about the land resources. Total cultivable land is 182.2 million hectares. Irrigation potential created out of this land is for 113.5 million hectares. Gross irrigated area in 2014-15 was 96.5 million hectares and net irrigated area was 68.4 million hectares. We use water for hydropower also. So ultimate hydropower potential of India is 1,48,701 megawatt and potential developed by end of 2018 is 45,293 megawatt. It means there is good scope for harvesting hydropower in due course of time. So this is another table which quantifies the water resources at glance. So average annual potential flow in rivers if we find it is about 1869 km3 out of that estimated utilizable water resources are 1123. And the distribution of that in form of surface water, ground water is in this way. Estimated water need in 2050 will be reaching up to 1450 km3. And at that time, estimated deficit will go up to 327 km3. So, we are trying to make water available by interlinking of rivers, and that one can expect that. 200 km cube of additional water will be available if we transfer the water of say North Indian rivers to the South India. Now we will discuss major and medium water resources projects taken up and completed up to 11th plan. So projects taken up by end of 11th plan were 399 major projects. 1136 medium projects to 65 ERM projects. So, including pre plan and up to 11 plan, 437 major projects were undertaken, and out of that, 295 are completed. So, out of total 2017 projects, we have completed at the end of 11 plan 1452 projects. And still we are working on 565 water resources projects. Now this particular graph gives us the idea about the irrigation potential developed through major and medium water resources projects. So uh, we observe that in pre plan period there were just 10 million hectares of land receiving irrigation water but in due course of time so up to say 2012 we have reached up to say 48 million hectare of potential created for irrigation. Now all those figures which we had discussed just now in cumulative manner are shown here. So by end of 2012 
we observed that 35.01 milli hectare of irrigation potential is created and utilized. So, here there is reflection spot. Per capita availability of water in India is, these are the options, answer is 1588 cubic meter. Estimated utilizable water resources of India are, these are the options, answer is 1123 billion cubic meter. Estimated hydropower potential of India is, these are the options. Answer is 1,48,701 megawatt. So, the conclusions are, India receives about 80 percent rainfall in monsoon months of June to September. Distribution of water resources over India is highly uneven. India is continuously working on irrigation development. Per capita annual availability of water in India is 1588 cubic meter. Estimated utilizable water resources of India are 1123 billion cubic meter and estimated hydropower potential of India is 1,48,701 megawatts. Special thanks to Balchan Institute of Technology, Sulapur and IDP in Education and Technology, IIT. Bombay. These are the references. Thank you.